Hello, in this short video I'm going to talk about a quick homework assignment you could do for week three of programming from A to Z if you happen to be following these YouTube videos as a course that you might be taking on your own or however it is you're doing it. Um, and uh, you can submit your homework assignments by subscribing to the Patreon channel the Slack channel through the Patreon link in the, this video's description, or you can share them with me on Twitter at Schiffman. So this week's topic uh, is looking at how to get external data into your program. So what you might have done for a previous assignment is, ah, mash up some text, make a quick mash up text exercise in the browser, uh, maybe use regular expressions for it. Now, what happens if when you're doing that, you bring in an external data source? So what if you, um, what if you uh, find a data source from Corpora, which is a GitHub repository that has a lot of JSON files full of strange and interesting data maintained by tiny subversions? What if you use a JavaScript library that has a lexicon in it or allows you to analyze text by parts of speech and pull out a random word or alter the text by changing the tense of verbs or negating a statement, that type of thing. You could also use an API. What if you pull in text from the New York Times or from Wikipedia and from that you generate some kind of poetry or experimental uh, text machine. There's also WordNick, which is a web service that has a ton of information about words so you can get um, definitions example sentences, pronunciation, all sorts of metadata about particular kinds of words, and you might try experimenting with that. Um, you know, you could create an interactive system where you click on words, uh, you get um, a synonym, uh, you, you change, swap out a synonym or, uh, that has more syllables in it or something like that. So all of these types of things are possible. I also showed in the coding challenge how you could crowdsource a data source by sending out a Google form and having people enter in data for like a Mad Libs uh, project. And you can try using that by having a Google Sheet be the input into your project. So any of these are kind of possibilities. I want to mention a couple other things. One is uh, I, would I also would like to make a, uh, as a kind of loose requirement, I mean nothing's required, but as a kind of loose requirement, contribute some data to Corpora. So go and uh, this is a good practice for collaboration and open source and Git and GitHub and all those things. Try to submit a pull request with some new data to Corpora. And also the other thing I would encourage you to think about is interactivity. So how, can, how might you use one of these data sources? And uh, you know, I'm using this mode of like, you enter text into a text input field, you hit submit, and then you get new text out. And this is good for practicing algorithms and a kind of just modality of interaction that kind of works as a basic starting point. But what might be something that happens if as you're typing, it starts to change the text you're typing? Or as data, new data comes in from a spreadsheet, the page is continuously updating. So what are some other interactive forms? What about, what if you use animation? Um, so you might think about sort of creative interactions that I can't even imagine right now other than these sort of like basic known forms of how you can interact with text since you're in the browser beyond just the generation of text itself. So play around with that, share your work with me however you want to share it, and I look forward to seeing what happens. Okay, see you soon.